the right Shalom Akiyam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Kakadash. This is your brother Zakar coming to you with a little dream testimony, a dream that I had a while ago. Um, for some reason, I've had a lot of dreams, man. A lot of dreams, and they just keep popping up. The elder Apostle Tower was talking about blackouts today, rolling blackouts this summer that may hit. And I had a dream about it, uh, not even a few months ago, about a few about some blackouts. You know, I was um, first and foremost. Let, let me get this. Uh, let me say double honors to my apostles and elders, great millstone. Okay, and uh, peace of citations to the hopeful elect of Israel, man. Okay, all praises, honor, and glory to our power, man. These these days, these days are speeding up, man, and things are happening. All praise on and glory to you, how about Shemiel Shai, man? Acts 2 and 17, and it reads, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yahweh, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, and my servants, and of on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days my spirit. And they shall prophesy, and I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood, and fire, and vapor of smoke. And the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, and before that great notable day of the Lord come. Okay. And I wanna I wanna start off with that because you know, brothers is having dreams. And you know, there is a scripture that say dreams are vanity. Some dreams are vanity, but some dreams be true, man. Some dreams might come true. You know, it's, it's, it's getting too deep. But my dream, man, basically what was happening was I just remember, I just remember driving down this highway, man. And I was just driving down this highway and everything was good, man. Like it was daytime, really. And then, uh, you know, for some reason, like, it was turning dark, like, you know, the sun was going down or whatever. And, you know, as I was driving, I remember, like, it just went from, from daylight, and, and, and it, it was like the sun was going down. And I remember, like, the, the cars started fading away, like, it was just me eventually, like, and I was just driving. You know, there was, uh, you know, the lights on the highway and everything, it was just me in the highway, and it was like nobody else, and I remember all of a sudden everything just, the, the highway lights went off, and uh, I seen this huge light in the sky, you know, it was just like, it was this purplish, bluish, like, bubble of a light, man, you know, and I can see it, and everything, like, stopped, like, my car, I remember my car, like, I was like, what the hell's going on? You know, it was like rolling to a stop, basically. There were no more cars around me. It was just me. And I remember the lights on, on the highway, they went out. And then I looked down at my phone. And my phone was light for a minute. Then it went out. And I was trying to push on it. I was pushing on it. I was like, what the hell's going on? You know, I kept on trying to push on the light on my phone, you know, like tapping it, you know, like, you know, just tapping different things. And uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't come back on, and and my car it was still in drive, it just stopped, and I was just in the middle of the highway looking up at this ball, and it was a, it was like a bubble, like, it was like a bubble, man. It was like a I don't know if it was an explosion or something, but I heard, I heard planes, and I seen these planes come over the head, and they were headed towards that bubble that was in the sky. I don't know what that meant. It had something to do with the blackout you know like my phone didn't work the, the 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 car just rolled to a stop like literally man the all the lights went out around me i can tell that uh all the electricity was down because the car just stopped out of nowhere and i seen those two ships it was like the army ships or some kind of ships that were going they were going towards this ball this ball Let's talk about this ball that was in the sky. It looked like a, it looked like it was trying to explode or something. It was like bubbling, and I can see it. And it was out in the sky. The sky was dark, you know. 
besides this this ball this like it looked like a plasma or some shit but they were going towards it you know they were trying to go towards it to try to see what was up or something i don't know but i knew that something had happened and that then i woke up you know and this was like a, a few months ago i had this dream you know but i remember <laughs> i remember that i remember looking down at my phone and automatically inside the dream i knew i was like man what the hell man like is this like an emp or something like somebody just like do something like like the phone's not even working man i can't call nobody nobody was around me like it was just me <laughs> my phone was dead my phone my my my, my car was dead uh, everything around me was dead there were no lights nowhere the only light i seen was that light in the sky which was like a purplish blue plasma ball man and and i seen two like planes going towards it let me get this last scripture right here and I had this dream a while ago, man. A few months ago. In Second Edges chapter 15, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Second Edges chapter 15, verse 14, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hand. For there shall be this addition among men and in vain of one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And these things are going to happen. And this is, this is a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. Because, you know, uh, ain't going to no, be no electricity. You know, that's what I'm getting from there. Ain't going to be no electricity. Ain't going to be, you know, in certain places. I mean, this is talking about that that juice or that that rice grain. That micro thing, you know what I mean? But, you know, at the same time, you know, I really feel like there's going to be a blackout soon. There's going to be some kind of something happen in the sky. You know, <laughs> you know, some, some, some dreams of vanity, but hey, you know, there was a weird ass ball in the sky. It was all bubbly. It was like trying to explode. It seemed like, man, you know, it was just in the sky. It was just, just floating in the sky, man. You know, it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride. The city shall be dis be troubled and houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid, man. The man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And these things are coming down the, down the pipeline, man. You know, we got... Food prices rising, you know, gas prices rising, you know, lack of jobs, lack of, uh, lack of, uh, you know, food coming in from different places, lack of resources. So a bunch of things about to happen, man. Anyway, that's my quick little testimony. But, you know, I, I still think about that ball, that ball, it was a ball of light. It was, it was kind of see-through, but I can see it like it was moving, something was moving inside of it, man. And it was like a plasma. It was like performing. It was a performing. I knew it wasn't a chariot. It was something different. It was something that these devils made, man. But I looked down at my phone. It was. It wouldn't work. The, the car rode to a stop. And everything around me turned dark, man. All I can see was that light. Anyway, hopefully this lesson was edifying. Shalom.